Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at crypto maps. We'll be discussing the syntax to configure a crypto map, crypto map configuration, and finally looking at applying and verifying that crypto map. This episode is part of my series on network security for the CCNA. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. Now that the interesting traffic is defined and an IPsec transform set is configured, it's time to bind those two configurations with the rest of the IPsec policy in a crypto map. The available configurations for a crypto map entry when you are in crypto map configuration mode are shown here. In global configuration mode, we start off with the keywords crypto map. Once we got in there, we then specify the name using map name here. Now this identifies the crypto map set. Basically it's the map or the name of the map. You help us identify it later on. Then we have the sequence number and this is the sequence number you assign to the crypto map entry. Use the crypto map map name sequence number command without any keywords to modify existing crypto maps. So if you were going to go and modify a crypto map you would just use crypto map map name sequence number up to here and then you can go in and modify it then you have to make the choice either ipsec isacamp or ipsec manual here ipsec isacamp this indicates that ike will be used to establish the ipsec for protecting the traffic specified by this crypto map entry this is the one we're primarily going to focus on this is the one we're going to use right now when we set up our VPN. IPsec manual here. This indicates that IKE will not be used to establish our IPsec associations for protecting traffic. Let's go ahead and create a crypto map. Here, our map name is R1-R2 underscore map. Basically, it's the connection between R1 and R2, and this is our crypto map for it. And we also give it a sequence number of 10. That says 10 underneath there. Once we do that, we get into, notice our command prompt has changed. Now we're in the config crypto map prompt here. We put it in a, in a question mark. And then these are the available configurations for crypto map. To finish the configuration to meet the IPsec security policy for our company, we have to complete four steps. What we do is on on each of our devices. So this example right here, this is R1. We type in crypto map, R1, R2 map, and IPsec isacamp. It'll create our map here. Then once we're in the configurations, step one here is actually these two steps. So this is step one. And what we have to do is we have to bind our ACL. So we're gonna match address according to our 101 ACL. So this was specifying what ACL and then we have to specify the transform set to the map. And so this says, use this transform set R1-R2. Step two here is to specify our peer. So this is the IP address here of R2. That's the IP address there. Then we have to configure our Diffie-Hellman group. Right here, we set our Diffie-Hellman group to group 24. Once again, our, our security requirements said we have to use 14 but you can use the one that you need to. Then we have to go in our four, that was step three. Our step four here is we have to configure the IPsec tunnel lifetime. And so this command right here sets up our IPsec tunnel lifetime to 900 seconds. Once we do that on R1, we have to go down here on R2, do the same thing. So we go ahead and we create our crypto map again. We say match our address. This, this happens to be the ACL on R2. So once again, this was our ACL, ACL. And we set, and then we, and then we put the transform set to the map here. So we, we bind these two. So that was step one again. Step two, we say the peer. And so this is the, actually the IP address here of R1, cause that's our peer. That's the other end. We say what group and our requirements said Diffie-Hellman group 14. 
but you have to make sure that these match between them. So if you decide to go and use 24 instead, make sure that both sides say 24. And then finally, we go ahead and configure our lifetime. And that was step four here. And that was once again at 900 seconds. We can use the show crypto map command here to verify that that crypto map configuration. When we look at the output, we can see all the data we've entered in. First one here is our crypto map name here. Here's the name and also the sequence number and what policies we're using. Here's our peer. This is the extended IP access list. This only has one AC, ACE access control entry, but you can have multiple access control entries to specify that interesting traffic for you. Then we have Security Association Lifetimes. We have our Diffie-Hellman group at 24 or 14, depending upon what it is. We have our transform set here, R1, R2, that specifies our encryption and our hashing. And then interfaces using our map. And it says what interfaces are using our map. As you can see, we don't have any interfaces using this map yet. To apply the crypto map, use the crypto map map name interface configuration command to apply that crypto map. In our example, we can see global configuration mode. We go into an interface. That's where we're going to apply that crypto interface. So we're going to apply it here to serial 000. Once we're in interface configuration mode, we go ahead and we tell it crypto map R1, R2 map. This was the name of that map we created. If we wait a second, we can see that now ISA camp is turned on. We have a system update message saying that. If we exit out, we can use the show crypto map command. This is all the information we had before, but now down here on the bottom where it says interface is using, we can see that it serial 000 is using our crypto map. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on crypto maps. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, please click that like button, give a five star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com. There you can find out how to get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on network security for the CCNA. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I picked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on network security for the CCNA. Once again, I'm Kevin, this is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.